Hello everyone, my name is Stephen, and today we're going to talk about getting started with Ag Expert Field. Um, under the premium plan, there's an option to migrate your data from Field Manager Pro on your desktop up into Ag Expert Field in the cloud. And sometimes that can seem like a bit of a daunting task, so we're going to remove all the mystery for you today. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we'll need to do is to um, get to the right website. Now um, that happens to be www.agexpert.ca. You can see I've been there before. And once that has loaded, we will see this page. Um, now, if this is the first time that you're seeing this page, you'll need to go to sign up now, your account with FCC. Uh, will not work here, nor will if you've used our apps previously where you need an email and a password to sign in. Those won't work either. None of those systems are tied to this. This is all on its own. So um, again, first time seeing this picture, you'll need to click on sign up now. And then pop in your email address. Uh, FCC software. Uh, nope. Plus 12 at gmail dot com and then type in your password now it's a complex password so you need uh, upper and lower case number and or symbol you need three of those and when I can type properly I make my life easier but who said life was supposed to be easy right Okay, and then you'll have to accept the terms of use. If you'd like to read those, you can go ahead and just click on the link down here where it says terms of use and they'll come up on the screen for you. Now, once it's done its thing, we should get a confirmation window. There it is, um, saying that they've sent us an email and we need to go and check that email. Now, um, when you go to your email, be sure to uh, check your junk mail folder. If you don't see the email in the inbox, just come back to this page and click on resend email. And uh, But there's my email that it just sent. And if I open that up, I just need to confirm my email address. So when I'm a real person, that prevents anybody from creating accounts um, using our email addresses without our knowledge. So account has been confirmed. I can click on continue. And here then we're going to start typing in our data. Okay, and this is the important box. This is mainly what this video is about today, is migrating data from Field Manager Pro into Ag Expert Field in the cloud. If you bypass this without checking this box, you will not have the option to migrate your data. Um, if that happened, give us a call. We'll have to do some things on our end uh, to re-enable it, and we'll have to get you some software that you'll need to download and install in order to make that happen. So I'm going to do a check mark, and then I'm going to click Save. Now what's going to happen is it's going to give us this option to download the migration tool. Um, migrating your data does take some time uh, depending on the size of the data file that you're moving up into the cloud. Um, it also takes a little bit of time of you sitting in the screen just matching some stuff up. You'll see a little bit of that here. Um, but I have already installed this tool so it's going to give me an error message. But I want you to see what happens when you click on this button. Um, it's going to ask me at the bottom because I'm using Microsoft Edge if I want to run or save. I'm going to just click on run. If I had kind of chancy internet, I would probably do save instead just so that once I do get it successful, I don't ever have to go and redo that download. But um, if I'm using Google Chrome, there will be a button in the bottom left hand corner that says Ag Expert Field Migration Tool Installer. You'll need to click on that to run the, the installer to get the software. If you're using Firefox, um, then I believe what it does is it will ask you if you want to save at the bottom. And uh, then up at the top, once you click on save, there's a, a down pointing arrow that you can click on to view your downloads. And the Ag Expert Field Migration Tool Installer will be one of those downloads and you can just run the file from there. 
So I'm going to say run, just so we see what happens. Now, depending on your settings, um, it may ask for additional permissions. Just say yes if it does. And then we'll see, here's my installer running. Now it's going to say, oh, no, you can't do that because, yep, another version is already installed. So I'll just click OK. You would get the installation wizard, and it would install the software on your screen. We're just going to make this a little smaller. And here is my migration tool. Now, you'll have an icon like this once you finish the installer, an icon exactly like this on your desktop. And you can just double click on it. And that will launch the software. And then it's just a matter of following the steps. We're going to run through it just so you see what happens with it. But we'll go next. And then we have to sign in so it knows where it's got to send the data to. So I'll go sign in and do our email. Plus 12 at gmail.com. And then now let's see if I typed in that password right. Woohoo! Okay, so now it's uh, just going to verify our subscription. And. It'll download the latest seed variety list and downloading the latest crop protection products. Okay, so it's it's pulling in the information that we have here, and it's saying we're ready for migration. So I'm going to click next, and then we have to tell it where our file is. Now it's already loading mine because it knows where mine is. Um, mine's in the default location. Yours may pop in there as well, um, but if it doesn't, if it's blank, just click on Browse. The default location for your Field Manager Pro data is in Documents. And then inside Documents, there's an FM Pro folder that we can double click to open. And then a data folder, again, double click. And then we have Ag Expert Sample is the one that we're going to pull in. Now, you can save your file wherever you want to. Um, on your hard drive. So if you've saved it somewhere other than the default, just browse to that location and select your file. And then we can click Next. Now it's going to bring up our um, list of crops. Now it's, and it's going to try and match things as best it can automatically. You're going to see one big discrepancy here is blueberry is saying bluegrass. Um, that's just because there are no fruits or vegetables in the software yet. Those are going to be added. Um, it's just not what we wanted to come out of the gate with. So um, if there are any that are blank that it couldn't match up, our job is to find and match those up correctly. So let's see if I can find this soybean one. Delete. Nope. Uh, 24 dash. Was it K4? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to, and then to select it, once you found it, just double click. And Wheat Winter for Vienna, that's this one. And Wild Rye, that's that one. So once you've got all your crops matched, and it's if you've kind of custom named your crops over the years for various things, you're going to have a long list that you'll have to go through. You may want to um, cancel out of this process and go and consolidate those as best you can in Field Manager Pro, um, just because you can't do, the most you can do is call something unknown in, in Ag Expert Field. Um, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a static list. You can't create something in that list. So once you've got it all matched up, click on Next, and then we are in our Crop Protection Products. And I was mostly lucky here. There's some that it just has unknown on. So I'm going to see if I can do better than they did. Uh, oh, no, I think it was this one. Okay, and Odyssey. Sometimes just type a couple letters, type three letters maybe, and see if that kind of 
um, get you what you need. There's my Odyssey. Oh, I had it spelled wrong. Yep, that's why. Okay, so... Uh, and... One more here. So let's just look for Sen and see what finds up. Okay, 75DF. There it is right there. So again, just double click to add. Once you've got everything populated in that list, um, then we can go and we can click next. And it's going to, if there were any um, pests that you had recorded in operations, it's going to want you to match those up to a list of, of pests that are in the software as well. And we can go next. And then it's done. So when I click next here, what's going to happen is it's going to start doing that. Now at this point in time, you're just going to pause and it will send you an email when the migration is complete and uh, you can go from there. So we'll click finish. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and that you found it informative. If you have suggestions for if you really need to sit properly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found it informative. If you have suggestions for content, please let us know what those would be. You can send an email to support at fccsoftware.ca or you can reach us through our online community. That's community.fccsoftware.ca And as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel. You can also click on the little alarm bell to uh, get updates or to get notifications rather um, when we post new content. Thanks everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day.